To get started, you need to import the Landsat 8 image to the software. Using the Data Manager option, you're able to manage the layers. Using the MTL, you can import the Landsat 8 image to the software. After importing the image, you can pre-process the images. You can use the options to visually correct the image. For image preprocessing, radiometric calibration can be performed in the first step. Select your area. Since the atmospheric correction using the flash method is supposed to be performed in the next step, we select the apply flash settings. The image will be saved in a specific path. In the next step, atmospheric correction should be performed, so the flash atmospheric correction option is selected. The input of this step is the output of the previous step. The second option is selected. The first output path is selected.
The second output path must be selected exactly the first output path. Write a name in the root name field. Select the Landsat 8 sensor type. The date and time that the image was taken must be carefully selected. We can use the meta file of the image to specify the time and date of the image. Ground elevation can be determined using Google Earth, so that the average height of the area can be selected. For the atmospheric model, you can select the time and coordinates of the image from the help section. On this page, the select atmospheric model options is selected. and the model is selected based on the image acquisition, the month in which the image was taken, and the latitude of the image. In multispectral settings from the second part, the first option is selected. After all the parameters being set, atmospheric correction can be performed.
Here the result of atmospheric correction by flash method is observable. Because the range of numbers is not between 0 and 1, you can use the following formula to correct these numbers. And convert the image to surface reflectance. To do so, we use the band math. The final image is selected. To apply corrections on the thermal bands you can follow these steps. First, the radiometric calibration is selected. Set the calibration type to radiance. In the next step, radiometric calibration is selected again to select brightness temperature. For atmospheric correction of thermal bands, you can use thermal atmospheric calibration option. The input of this stage is the radiance of the thermal bands.
The Emissivity Reference Channel option is selected to obtain emissivity. Thermal Band which is Band 10 is selected. The LST output path is determined. Here you can observe the LST obtained for Kelvin. To convert Kelvin to Celsius you can use the following formula. Here the final image can be seen in Celsius. In this section, water indices will be discussed. First, we go to the NDWI index which is applied to the image using the following formula. Then select the desired band. and determine a path for the output. The next water index is the WRI index. This index is written using the following formula. The desired bands are selected. The output path of the index is specified.
The next index is the AWEI index. This index is applied using the following formula. The desired bands are selected as previous step. Finally, the output path of the index is determined. In the next section, we go on to vegetation extraction indices. First, the NDVI index is written using the following formula. The next index is the RVI index. This index is applied using the following formula. The desired bands are selected. And the output path is specified. The next index is the EVI index. This index is written using the following formula. The desired bands are selected. The output path is specified. The next index is the SAVI index. As previous indices, this index is applied using the following formula. The desired bands are selected. Finally the output path is determined.
Spectral Library Viewer can be seen using the display option. In the search option, you can search for the desired phenomenon. In this part, different types of water spectrum is observable. And in this section, different types of vegetation can be seen. Using the profiles and spectral options, you can observe the feature spectrum. You can save the results if you need to. If you need to create animation using Landsat 8 image bands, you can use the band animation option. Animation speed can be changed. Using the portal option, two images can be compared for specific areas. Comparing two images can also be performed using View Blend. It can also be viewed as a view flicker. And View Swipe. To apply filter on Landsat 8 images, you can use the Convolutions and Morphology tool command. In this open tool from the Convolutions option, 
you can select the desired filters. The high pass option is selected. Different kernel sizes can be chosen as well. The low pass option is selected. Different kernel sizes can be chosen as well. The desired image is selected. The output path to save the image is specified here. In the next step the Laplacian filter is selected. Different kernel sizes can be selected. The desired image is selected. The output path to save the image is specified. The Sobel filter is selected and previous steps is repeated. And the last one is the Roberts filter. You can apply different filters on the image based on your need. To detect changes, you can use the anomaly detection option. Enter your image at first. Processing methods can be changed as needed. Select Threshold and click on Next. You can change the output paths if you want to. Changes can be viewed in both NV and Polygon format. To classify an image, you need to collect training samples to determine the classification classes. You can collect samples using the Region of Interest tool. 
Four classes including urban areas, water, vegetation and soil are the classes of the classification. In the classification section, we choose the SVM or support vector machine classification method as an example. Here we select our image. Classification classes are selected. And the output path is specified. Here you can see the output. In order to accuracy assessment of the classification, training samples must be recollected to estimate the accuracy of the classification through these samples which have a very high accuracy. So we collect samples for different classes including city, vegetation, water and soil. After sampling, the classification validation can be achieved using the confusion matrix using ground truth ROIs. Previous and new samples should be selected together to compare the samples. The classification error matrix is visible here. This file can be saved.
To get PCA, the forward PCA rotation new statistics and rotate option must be selected. We select the image for PCA. and specify the output path. The final output can be seen here. The texture of the image can be extracted using the co-occurrence measures command. All texture parameters are observable and can be selected as needed. Define the output path and click on OK.
Image sharpening can be performed from the image sharpening folder. The Gram-Schmidt pan sharpening method is the first method that is selected. Select the low spatial resolution image. In the next step, select the high spatial resolution image. Select the desired sensor. The Gram-Schmidt pan sharpening output is visible here. The next method to perform image sharpening is color normalized. Bravi, sharpening. Three desired bands are selected. High spatial resolution band must be selected. The output path is specified. Here is the image sharpening result. To perform the classification, we use the unsupervised classification section. We select the ISO data classification method and the desired image for classification. Define a path for the output. The minimum and maximum classes are specified for the classification. The second method of classification is K-means classification. The desired image is selected for classification. The number of classification classes must be specified to classify based on this number of classes. Then specify a known path. The outputs can be compared at the end.
When your images need to be mosaic you can use mosaic command. Use the seamless mosaic option. Then we select the two images that we need to mosaic. Using the seam lines option, the auto generate seam lines option is selected. Select the histogram matching. The output of the work must be saved with a specific name in the desired path. Here the images have been mosaic together which is visible. If you need to ask questions, ask in the comments.